Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be going over the do's and the don'ts of how you should respond to haters or native comments in your comment section on YouTube. If you're thinking about starting up a YouTube channel or maybe you already have one that has some traction or maybe you are a huge content creator and you're just needing to deal with all the native comments, well, look no further because this video is for you and we're starting right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the very first point we're going to go over is one of the most important that you need to eat, live, and breathe every single day to maintain your own sanity and also the PR on your channel. It is important for you to never go into discussion in the comments. If a comment has a negative vibe, just completely brush off and shake it off because it is not worth your time and energy to try to use logic within a logical person. Read the comment or don't even read it for that matter brush it off and move on it is honestly not worth your time and in all practicality if you reply to a negative comment you're essentially feeling the fire giving the troll what they want and let's expand a little bit further on using logic within a logical person no matter your comment no matter how well thought out it will be you will always always lose that argument but if you do decide to respond be sure it is worth your time and energy and be professional about it you are the authority figure here so the next point i want to bring up is should you ever delete a comment uh yes and no it's judged on a case-by-case -case basis and sometimes it's easier to just delete the comment to remove the root of all evil and all of the hate stemming from that comment but be careful when you do so because it can backfire and people can take those comments elsewhere it's like a third party website or the forums and it's really hard to explain yourself there because well you're more than likely not going to see it and everyone can say what they want about you so the best way to go about it is just leave the comments because the comments count as an interaction on your youtube channel which drives its growth and reach to other channels so Leave it sit there unless it's too bad, unless it's harassing you or someone else in your community. I don't see any reason to remove a comment. So the next point I want to bring up is how do you avoid negative comments? Well, the simple answer is you don't. You're going to have good comments. You're going to have bad comments. More than likely, you're going to have overwhelming good comments compared to bad comments. Haters will hate you no matter what. It does not matter how perfect your video is. People will always find something negative to say. It is up to you and your decision on how you handle that. That's what distinguishes you from other content creators. So the next point I want to go over is how to maintain your mental sanity. Guys, I know it's easier said than done, but if you are starting a YouTube channel, if you are a smaller channel, even if you are a larger channel, this is going to apply to you. You have to be able to shake off the comment. The commenter comes into your sections. They leave a halfway to comment, not thought out. They walk on. They're done with their day. That's it. You as a content creator taking your baby, your child, or you're growing on your channel, right? You read that comment, you pick it up, and you overthink it. You obsess about it all day. Guys, stop with that. Don't even worry about it. If there's a native comment, you have to learn how to cope with it. You have to learn how to shake it off. And for a lot of people, that is easier said than done. You have to play these mental gymnastics with your head to even get through the day. And the more you see these negative comments, the easier and easier it gets to cope with each and every single one until eventually you're just immune to them. And then next, and probably the most important tip that I can possibly give you in this video is what I like to call imposter syndrome. As an authority figure, you are expected to know everything about everything. And trust me, when you start uploading videos, or maybe you've already experienced this in your own channel, when you upload a video with the slightest bit of misinformation, you best bet it will be called out in the comments section. And even if the comments are true, if they are completely wrong, own up to your mistakes. That is the best thing you can do is to be relatable to your audience. When you make a mistake and you openly admit it, you all of a sudden become approachable. You're human. You're much more relatable. And that's exactly what you're striving for on the YouTube platform is reach the other channels and relatability. Relatability is going to drive growth to your channel. So the next topic we are going to cover is about comments. I know we touched on this a little bit in the beginning of the video, but I feel that it's very important for me to reiterate this. When it comes to the comment section on YouTube, a comment is what is considered an interaction. The more interactions you have on your video, the better and more reach it will have across the platform. So should you ever turn off comments on a video? Me personally, having a smaller channel, I say no. If you're growing your channel, I would never turn off the comment section unless it's completely blatantly toxic and you have people harassing you. The reason being is that YouTube considers each and every comment, whether it be positive or negative, an interaction. And the more interactions you have on your channel, drive your growth to other platforms and other social medias. But on the flip side, if you're having a hard time handling comments, maybe it's just best to disable them entirely until you're able to cope with them. I'm not trying to put anyone down in this instance, but no news is good news. And if you turn off your comment section, that kind of nullifies the possibility of you interacting with your fan base. That's what people love about watching content creators. Not only do they love the comment that they produce, 
But if you go a step further and go down into the comments and have a nice discussion with someone who is really positive about the contents of your video, that speaks volumes about you and will help you succeed more often than not. And also, it allows you to interact with the good comments. Yes, there's going to be plenty of bad comments, but you have a lot of decent people who love your content and just want to congratulate you and also give you a little bit of critique on maybe what you can do better. Having that interaction with your fan base not only speaks volumes about you, but it also helps you as a creator because the viewers may have an idea that you didn't previously think of. So the very next point I want to bring up is to agree to disagree. We're all brought up differently. We all have different values. We all have different views on literally everything that there ever is in the entire world. Your job is not to push your ideas and beliefs onto other people. Your job is to create content and hopefully people like it and have something to gain from it and you get compensated for it in the process. If someone disagrees with you, that's okay. Except that people are raised up differently and they have different beliefs and move on. Agree to disagree. So there is a niche point I want to bring up but I feel it's very important. So let's say for example I put out a video and it only has a thousand views and it gets one comment and it's a positive comment. Does that mean the video is a failure or a flop because it doesn't have interactions? No, absolutely not. In fact, it's good because 90% of 90 95% of the people who watch your video, if they have a positive experience from it, they will not leave a negative comment. So that is a win for you and they'll keep coming back. So one very important tactic that I have to use on my channel, even though I only have 7,000 subscribers is you want to turn poison into medicine. So even though comments are negative, they may not be super bad or have malintent behind it. It's important for you to read and react to some comments if they are giving you criticism about how something could be better performed in your video. Sometimes it's in your best interest to acknowledge it and associate yourself with that person. Who knows, you may even convince that person who is a hater to be a lifelong supporter of your channel depending on how you handle the situation. So I'll go ahead and give you an example. So when I started my YouTube back up in August, I used to get comments all the time about how the music was too loud or how it was too low in some spots. And even though those were negative comments and they had some memes and you know emojis attached to it, um, I took that to heart. I went back and watched my videos and not only on my phone, on my laptop, on my computer, on my girlfriend's phone, on my girlfriend's tablet. And I checked the audio levels across the entire board and lo and behold, especially on phones, the volume was super, super loud. Especially, especially if you're wearing earphones. So when you see constructive comments like that, sometimes it's good to invest your time in. And let me reiterate what I said at the beginning of the video. Admit when you are wrong. There is no shame when you admit that you are wrong. Admitting you're wrong makes you human. It makes you more relatable. And that's what you strive for on YouTube. Please guys, if you are wrong, just admit you're wrong. Move on. Learn from it. If you do not learn from it and you try to hide behind it, that's when you fail as a creator. So the very last point I will go over in this video is kind of niche and it's only tailored specifically to my channel. Who knows, this may actually help you with your channel as well. Do not be afraid to be the beacon of hate. What do I even mean by that? That sounds awesome. I'm not saying let people bully you. I'm not saying don't stand up for yourself. I'm not saying not to take the high road all the time, okay? So what I mean by this point is, in the words of Robin Williams, everyone you talk to, everyone you associate with is fighting a battle you know nothing about. Just because a comment is negative, you do not know what these people are going through in your comment section. The amount of options are absolutely endless, so it is very important for you to not go out of your way and attack anyone, because that comment you reply to them may be the last comment they ever read. I'm a huge enthusiast for a proper mental health, something I have suffered with my entire life as well as my family. So if people want to lash out at you in the comments, good embrace that if you can handle it now if you are empathetic like my girlfriend who can't handle all the negativity then obviously don't do that for your own mental health sake but if you can handle the negativity please just be a beacon for the hate be that punching bag for other people it's best that people punch at you in the comments instead of going home beating the children and beating their wives i know this is a very <laughs> very extreme example but this is just something to think about when you're pursuing your youtube career don't be afraid be a beacon of hate in fact actually embrace it if you can handle it so that is the end of this video ladies and gentlemen if you found any information in this video at all helpful please let me know down in the comments and i would really appreciate a like and sub and please guys a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat i love you guys very much from the bottom of my heart and i'll catch you all in the next one peace